1 Chronicles chapter 7. Span class equals QL cursor greater than slash span now the sons of Issachar were, Tola, and Puah, Joshub, and Shimram, 4. And the sons of Tola, Az, and Rephiah, and Jeriel, and Jemai, and Jibsam, and Shemuel, heads of their father's house, to wit, of Tola, they were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. And the sons of Az, Israhiah, and the sons of Israhiah, Michael, and Obadiah, and Joel, Ishiah, five, all of them chief men. And with them, by their generations, after the house of their fathers, were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons. And their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, and Becher, and Jediel, three. And the sons of Bela, Esben, and Az, and Azeel, and Jeremoth, and Eri, five, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand and thirty and four. And the sons of Becher, Zemira, and Joash, and Eliezer, and Elianai, and Omri, and Jeremoth, and Abiah, and Anatoth, and Alamoth. All these are the sons of Becher. And the number of them, after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was twenty thousand and two hundred. The sons also of Jediel, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jeish, and Benjamin, and Ehud, and Kenanah, and Zethan, and Tharshish, and Ahishahar. All these the sons of Jediel, by the heads of their fathers, mighty men of valor, were seventeen thousand and two hundred soldiers, fit to go out for war and battle. Shupim also, and Huppam, the children of Ir, and Hushim, the sons of Aher. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, and Guni, and Jezer, and Shalem, the sons of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh, Ashreel, whom she bare, but his concubine the Aramidus bare Machir the father of Gilead. And Machir took to wife the sister of Huppam and Shupim, whose sister's name was Maka, and the name of the second was Zelophehad, and Zelophehad had daughters. And Maka the wife of Machir bare a son, and she called his name Peresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakam. And the sons of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh. And his sister Hamalekath bare Eshad, and Abizer, and Mahalah. And the sons of Shemida were, Ahian, and Shechem, and Leki, and Aniam. And the sons of Ephraim, Shuthala, and Beard his son, and Tahat his son, and Alada his son, and Tahat his son. And Zabad his son, and Shuthala his son, and Ezer, and Elid, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew, because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went into his wife, she conceived, and bare a son, and he called his name Bariah, because it went evil with his house. And his daughter was Sherah, who built Bethor on the nether, and the upper, and Uzanshara. And Repha was his son, also Reshef, and Tela his son, and Tahan his son. Lodan his son, Amahud his son, Elishama his son. Nan his son, Jehoshua his son. And their possessions and habitations were, Bethel and the towns thereof, and eastward Naran, and westward Gezer, with the towns thereof, Shechem also and the towns thereof, unto Gaza and the towns thereof. And by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Bethshean and her towns, Tanak and her towns, Megiddo and her towns, Dor and her towns. In these dwelt the children of Joseph the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Emna, and Ishua, and Ishuai, and Bariah, and Sarah their sister. And the sons of Bariah, Heber, and Malkiel, who is the father of Berzaveth. And Heber begat Jephlet, and Shomer, and Hotham, and Shua their sister. And the sons of Jephlet, Pesach, and Bimhal, and Ashvath. These are the children of Jephlet. And the sons of Shamer, Ai, and Roga, Jehubba, and Aram. And the sons of his brother Helam, Zopha, and Imna, and Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopha, Sua, and Harnafer, and Shul, and Beri, and Imra, Bezer, and Had, and Shama, and Shilshah, and Ithron, and Bera. And the sons of Jether, Jephana, and Pispa, and Ara. And the sons of Ula, Ara, and Haniel, and Rejah.
all these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes. And the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to the war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. 1 Chronicles chapter 8. Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahara the third, Noah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were, Adder, and Jera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Naaman, and Ahoa, and Jera, and Shafufan, and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud, these are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manahath, and Naaman, and Ahiah, and Jera, he removed them, and begat Azah, and Ahihud. And Shaharim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away, Hushim and Bara were his wives. And he begat of Hodesh his wife, Jobab, and Zebia, and Mesha, and Malcolm, and Jeaz, and Shakia, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abi Tub, and Elpael. The sons of Elpael, Eber, and Misham, and Shamed, who built Ono, and Lod, with the towns thereof, Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of I alone, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, and Jeremoth, and Zebediah, and Arad, and Ader, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joha, the sons of Beriah, and Zebediah, and Meshulam, and Ezeki, and Heber, Ishmari also, and Jezlia, and Jobab, the sons of Elpael, and Jacob, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elenai, and Zilthai, and Eliel, and Adaya, and Beriah, and Shimrath, the sons of Shimhi, and Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Antoijah, and Iftaya, and Penol, the sons of Shashak, and Shamshari, and Shahariah, and Athaliah, and Jerasiah, and Eliah, and Zitri, the sons of Jeroham. These were heads of the fathers, by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem. And at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maka, and his firstborn son Abdon, and Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zachar. And Mikloth begat Shemia. And these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem, over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malkishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribal and Meribal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were, Python, and Melech, and Tereah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoada, and Jehoada begat Alemeth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Benia, Rapha was his son, Eleasa his son, Azel his son, and Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikam, Bokeru, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Eshek his brother were, Ulem his firstborn, Jehush the second, and Eliphalet the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and sons' sons, an hundred and fifty. All these are of the sons of Benjamin. Acts chapter 27 verses 1 through 20. And when it was determined that we should sail into Italy, they delivered Paul and certain other prisoners unto one named Julius, a centurion of Augustus' band and entering into a ship of Adramedium, we launched, meaning to sail by the coasts of Asia, one Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonica, being with us. And the next day we touched at Sidon. And Julius courteously entreated Paul, and gave him liberty to go unto his friends to refresh himself. And when we had launched from thence, we sailed under Cyprus, because the winds were contrary. And when we had sailed over the sea of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Myra, a city of Lycia and there the centurion found a ship of Alexandria sailing into Italy, and he put us therein. And when we had sailed slowly many days, and scarce were come over against Snidus, the wind not suffering us, we sailed under Crete, over against Salmone. And, hardly passing it, came unto a place which is called the Fair Havens, nigh whereunto was the city of Lycia. Now when much time was spent, and when sailing was now dangerous, because the fast was now already passed, Paul admonished them and said unto them, Sirs, I perceive that this voyage will be with hurt and much damage, not only of the lading and ship, but also of our lives. Nevertheless the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship, more than those things which were spoken by Paul. 
and because the haven was not commodious to winter in, the more part advised to depart thence also, if by any means they might attain to Phoenus, and there to winter, which is an haven of Crete, and lieth toward the south-west and north-west. And when the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, loosing thence, they sailed close by Crete. But not long after there arose against it a tempestuous wind, called Euroclidon. And when the ship was caught, and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive, and running under a certain island which is called Clauda, we had much work to come by the boat, which when they had taken up, they used helps, undergirding the ship, and, fearing lest they should fall into the quicksands, strake sail, and so were driven. And we being exceedingly tossed with a tempest, the next day they lightened the ship. And the third day we cast out with our own hands the tackling of the ship. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. Psalms chapter 7. O Lord my God, in Thee do I put my trust, save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy, let the enemy persecute my soul, and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth, and lay mine honour in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies, and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about, for their sakes therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people, judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reins. My defence is of God, which sabbath the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword, he hath bent his bow, and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death, he ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit, and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to His righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favour of the Lord.